Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. So we have another advent calendar to unbox. I mean, they're coming hard. Like we have so many advent calendars unboxed in the recent days. And I think there's going to be some more uh, released next week. So yeah, it's going to be a busy week. Anyway, today we're going to unbox uh, this beauty advent calendar by Selfridges. And it comes in this kind of like a chest-like box, but let me just show you. Okay, so I removed the sleeve and uh, there is our chest. It does look really nice, quite heavy, very sturdy. Uh, I actually really like this shape. This is much more useful than your regular Advent calendar box because I definitely can see myself storing my, uh, I don't know, skincare maybe, makeup, we'll see. Anyway, it seems like we have three kind of like compartments, like this one over here, and then we have two drawers and... Uh, think the days are and I can see 24 here 25 here so it's going to be a lot of looking for the right number so without further ado let's start the unboxing okay details um, so this having calendar is priced at 220 pounds with the value of 1049 pounds it is available technically but yesterday it kind of looked like it was sold out within a couple of hours which doesn't really seem right to me like as far as I remember last year there was I think only one advent calendar that like sold out within like a few days and that was Sephora correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure like none of these advent calendars sold out that quickly so unless they have like a very limited um, number of these advent calendars uh, I think there must be some sort of restocking coming but uh, we'll see about that uh, day number one over here so our first product is by Refi and this is brow sculpt Brow sculpt, yeah, okay, so that's what it is. This is in shade clear, so we have a clear brow setter. So I use these things on a regular basis, maybe even daily basis. Uh, so definitely something I am quite happy to find here. And that's definitely something very practical, um, in my case at least. So yeah, that's a nice start, I think. Day number two, I really like the fact that we have those little kind of like loops here. It makes it so much easier to uh, take the box out of the chest. Uh, so our day number two. So what we have here is Dr. Barbara Stern uh, Clarifying Serum and this is a full size 30 ml. Look at that. Uh, this is maybe not the most exciting serum for myself because I, uh, I mean, I have dry sensitive skin. Uh, I don't necessarily feel like I need a, a clarifying serum, but it's definitely a really nice product and a really good size. Dr. Barbara Sturm Clarifying Serum is an anti-aging serum designed for oil and blemish prone, prone skin. It's supposed to reduce skin sensitivity and redness for an instant irritation calming effect. Zinc binds the excess sebum that contributes to breakouts. Um, yeah, that actually sounds really lovely. Uh, as I said, not necessarily for my skin type. Sometimes it's very difficult to choose a product that's going to be like 100% inclusive. Uh, some things are going to be better for my skin type, some things I guess not necessarily. Day number three. Ooh, okay. So this is a very strong start, I feel like. So what we have here is a five pan Natasha Denona mini palette. This is mini bronze palette. And the great thing is I don't own this one. This one was released... Uh, Quite recently, I would say. So this is one of her newer kind of fan, five pan palettes. Uh, I wasn't really convinced if that was something I wanted to spend my money on, but I'm actually really happy to see it here. So let me just swatch these shades for you. So there you go. These are the swatches. It's like a very nice warm tone palette. It's supposed to be a complementary palette to her midi bronze palette, which I actually love. So it's going to be a nice addition to my collection. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to see a Natasha Donna palette in an oven calendar. Day number four. So here we have Fable and Main Amla Soothing Serum. And this is 14.4 mils. Part dry hair, massage, one full dropper into your scalp, leave on for at least five minutes or overnight for best results. Rinse, then cleanse. Uh, okay, so this is like a scalp serum. That's actually quite exciting because I've been like, I've been, I've been playing with those things recently. I feel like sometimes many people actually forget about their scalp. Like they're so focused on like their tresses that they forget about the scalp. Whereas I feel like the healthy scalp is a way to achieve like really healthy looking hair as well. It's definitely something I'm excited to try out. Day number five. So here we have some Charlotte Tilbury. And this is actually a very nice product uh, from this brand. This is Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, 
party all night, stay all day, and we have a 34 mil. So this is like a travel size, but this actually lasts quite a long time. So this is what it looks like. I had it in this particular size probably twice already, and I really like it. It's like a very fine mist. It smells really nice. So yeah, nice one. Day number six. Okay, uh, so this is a new one for me as well. This is Polish Choice 10% Niacinamide Booster with vitamin B3 and vitamin B5. For all skin types, refined pores and smooth texture, and we have 20 mils. Not irritating, fragrance-free, never animal tested. Once or twice daily, apply to face and neck, may be used alone or added to your favorite moisturizer or serum. For daytime, always follow with a sunscreen. So we have this kind of like a dropper separately, and... Oh, there you go. Here's our product. I remember I had vitamin C from this brand before. The only problem I had with it, that the expiry date was like three months after opening. Here we have 12 months. So that's good. That's so much better. Like it's really difficult sometimes to use a product like that, like a booster, where you just only use like a few drops uh, in uh, three months sometimes. I mean, unless this is the only product that you're using, but I like to try and test new products. So it was just not enough time for me. Day number seven. Ooh, Lisa Eldritch. So we have luxuriously loosened lip color in a shade Kitten Mischief. I like this advent calendar. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some like minis. I mean, we did have the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. That's obviously not a full size, but uh, so far, I'm actually quite impressed. Um, okay, so let's have a look at our lipstick. This is what it looks like. And uh, this is uh, the shade. Really pretty. I love the fact that it's not red because I know red is very Christmassy, but I have so many red lipsticks. And do you know what? I don't think it's such a wearable color because many people don't really like this kind of like bold statement lip. By the way, this formula is gorgeous. It does feel very hydrating on my skin. As you can see, this is the type of lipstick that's going to look very natural on your lips. It's like a very hydrating, very creamy formula. It does feel lovely and the packaging is very kind of like luxurious too. So yes, I'm super happy about that. Day number eight. So the first box from the top here. Oh, look how big this one is. So here we have two items and these are by Hair by Sam McKnight and this is Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. So the shampoo is 100 ml and the conditioner is 75 ml. So first of all, uh, when we're talking about like more expensive advent calendars, I'm always happy when we have a shampoo and a conditioner in one box because I think for that price, you, you, you should be able to expect that, right? Uh, but I'm also quite impressed with the sizes. I mean, it's not 30 ml. So we have like 100 ml here, 75 ml here. I think that's, that's nice. I I've tried a couple of products from this brand and I actually really like them all. So this is definitely something I'm excited to try. Do you know what, guys? I mean, obviously, this is day number eight. I mean, we still have a lot uh, to unbox here, so it might go either way, right? But I remember, like, doing the reveal of the Southern Calendar. I don't think I was, like, that impressed with it. And uh, so far, I actually really like it. We have so many boxes to open that uh, maybe I shouldn't be too happy yet. Okay, day number nine. What is this? This is Fleur, Missing Person or the Parfum. Well, I love testing new fragrances, so that is really cool. So, Olfactive Family is Floral Mask. Notes, oh, I love the fact that we actually have notes here. That actually saves me so much time. I don't really have to check them up on Fragrantica. So, the notes are top, Skin Mask, Bergamot, Nectar, Sheer, Jasmine. Heart, Fresh Cyclamen, Neroli Blossom, Orange Flower. Base, Sandalwood, Australia Oil, Blonde Wood and White Musk. That actually sounds so much up my alley. Uh, and we have 9.5 mils. This is, this is what it looks like. Oh, it does say here, our fragrances are inspired by memories, moments, experiences and feelings. Those are intimately personal and universally shared. Okay, there you go. And let's have a quick sniff. Okay, so this is like a very clean, um, musky fragrance, but not this kind of like very sharp Narciso Rodriguez kind of like mask. It's this very kind of like soft, almost like fluffy mask. I like it. Very clean skin kind of fragrance. Uh, okay, let's find day number 10. Day number 10 is up here. Ha, we have a candle. Yay. So this is Mulling and Gets Dark Rum. I love this fragrance. This just smells so good. I, I, I don't necessarily think it smells exactly like dark rum, but it has this 
almost like no it just it just it smells gorgeous yeah such a beautiful fragrance very kind of like autumnal in my opinion oh i love it i have this fragrance oil in this scent i think it was in one of the up in calendars last year and i actually really like it it's a beautiful fragrance for like a cozy night at home or before sleep amazing always happy with candles uh, so let's find day number 11 now day number 11 okay so we have another fragrance and this is Van Halligan's Halfetti I actually really like this fragrance and surprisingly this is the fragrance I've been actually wearing today so this is uh, what it looks like I think this is probably one of the most popular fragrances by Van Halligan's uh, it's this very expensive smelling woodsy floral scent uh, with some spices as well there's this beautiful saffron note in it it is just stunning it's very luxurious so we have that and this is 10 mils day number 12 so this is 111 Skin Rose Quartz Exfoliating Mask and we have 30 mils over here. So uh, the thing about 111 Skin, they're obviously very expensive. Uh, I think probably 30 mils is not a full size, but I think 30 mils for a face product. And I'm not even talking about face wash, but like face cream, face mask, exfoliator. I think 30 mils is a really good size. So I'm actually really happy to see that here. I'm also glad that this is a new product for me to try because I've never actually tried it before. So that's even more exciting. And what does it say? A multi-fruit acid mask that utilizes both chemical and physical exfoliation to slow off that skin. Uh, the radiant mask works to diminish the appearance of pores, pigmentation and blemishes to reveal a fresh faith glow. Apply generously onto clean skin, paying particular attention to dull or clogged areas. Leave on for up to 10 minutes. Wash off thoroughly with water and follow up with your usual regime. So 30 mils, another one that I'm excited to try. Okay, day number 13 is this massive one over here. Look at that, look at the size of it. Oh, okay. So we have like three products inside. That's exciting. And some of these items are really good. So what do we have here? Let's start with this one. This is Color Wow Raise the Root Thicken and Lift Spray. The cure for flat hair at height volume without dulling color. So this is 50 mils. Um, to be honest, I've tried that before. Uh, my hair is just generally flat. I mean, I guess I don't really style it properly. So maybe this would be great for like doing like some sort of updo. And then maybe it would actually work. When I have my hair down, it doesn't really seem to do much. But it's probably too much length for this product to hold it. So all I'm trying to say is that this is probably not the best product for me. But I guess I, I guess it could work for some. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, we have some JVN. Uh, this is... Oh, I like that one. So this this is complete air dry cream at uh, 30 mils and this is so good because uh you know i'm sometimes i'm too lazy to even blow dry my hair so i just literally just let it dry and i've tried that before this is this is really nice it's not like super thick it doesn't really weigh my hair down i just um i just like rub it into my uh damp hair and it just dries really nicely and looks really kind of like shiny and soft and then we have some deviness and this is all all in one milk and this is another product I actually really like. Uh, do you know what? As far as this brand goes, I love pretty much anything. Even their shampoos, which I'm not really too fast about shampoos, but their shampoos actually kind of make the difference um, on my hair. This is 50 mils, a full-size bottle. So yes, love it. Day number 14. So we have another fragrance here. This is Dries Van Noten. And I'm not really sure if that's supposed to be like French name, Soit Malacque. Or something else I'm not really sure uh, how this is supposed to be pronounced but wait it says here on the back chestnut silk so maybe that's the description of the fragrance or maybe that's the name of the fragrance let's have a closer look at the bottle so this is what it looks like and it does say chestnut silk on the bottle as well so let's have a quick sniff I can't even imagine how this is going to smell oh that is nice it's a very beautiful fragrance but chestnut and silk is not the first thing that comes to my mind let's have a quick look at the notes so the top notes are black and bergamot then we have middle notes of silk and rose and then we have the base notes of chestnut and cacao yeah i can definitely get that cacao here uh this is a really nice fragrance it's really like warm fruity scent with that kind of like almost edible cacao note i like it this is really lovely day number 15 
Okay, so here we have Costa Brazil Sol Sunlight Body Oil and we have a 30 ml over here. And you know what, whenever I check the prices for this brand, I think that it's ridiculously expensive. I mean, it's a lovely brand, but I mean, the prices are like out of this world. So Sunlight Body Oil, enhance your natural radiance with our Sunlight Body Oil, a highlighting elixir made from a nourishing blend that leaves the skin with a sensuous sun-kissed touch. Contains vitamin A, C, E, F, and omega 3, 6, 9, and antioxidants. And it also has benefits. It calms, nourishes, firms, and tones, provides a sensuous natural radiance. So, I mean, I guess that price, which I don't even know what that price is, but I I'm pretty sure it's quite expensive. I guess you do expect benefits. <laughs> so let's have a look. So this is what it looks like. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I really love testing those really kind of like bougie products. I'm saying it, I probably would never repurchase it, but hey, if I have an opportunity to use it, why not? Day number 16, another big one from the top. Okay, we have again more than one item. We actually have two products in here. For a moment, I thought these were both like supplements. So I was like almost disappointed, but no. This is actually Anatome uh, Natural Skincare Relax and Sleep Bath Salts. And I love bath salts. A calming and recovering blend of luxurious salts and organic botanicals. And we have 150 grams over here. Oh, I love things like that. So this is uh, definitely a product I will use maybe tonight, who knows. A blend of bath salts and botanicals to soothe the muscles, relax the body and unwind the mind. It includes magnesium flakes and Himalayan pink salts with English lavender and blue cornflower. The relaxing scent of English lavender essential oil supports restorative sleep. Yes, I actually might need that. Uh, I It's been like very hectic with the advent calendar season and regular work and everything, so yeah probably a good time to use it. And then we also have uh, this Vida Glow Natural Marine Collagen Supplement. Uh, and these are in three uh, flavors, original, original peach and blueberry, six servings. I actually had them before and I think I drank them and I'm not a massive fan of supplements, but apparently it was recently proven in research that taking collagen supplements um, works, like really works for like condition of your skin. Uh, not sure about the hair, but like it's supposed to actually really help with your skin. So I don't know, I might actually try it out at some point, but I'm generally not a massive fan of like supplementation, unless it's recommended by a doctor or a dietitian, I guess. Okay, moving on to our day number 17. Okay, so here we have Biosun Squalane and Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. 15 mils. I've tried that product before and I actually really like it. Dermatologist tested, non comedogenic for all skin types. This rash of firming peptides leaves skin feeling bouncy and hydrated. The formula includes hyaluronic acid, smoothing parkers, and squalane to instantly create visibly healthy, resilient skin. As I said, I've tried that before. I actually really like the serum. So it's nice to see this as a little comeback uh, this season. And look at the size. It's actually a really generous 50 ml size. Day number 18, <laughs> can you guess what this is? Something that I guess uh, no advent calendar can, can exist without. We have Agustinus Bader, the Rage Cream. Like, I don't think it sells. I don't think anyone actually buys these anymore, honestly. It's a really lovely product. I adore this cream. I have probably 10 bottles now and there will be more. That will be more by the end of the year. So all I have to say, it's 15 mils, their usual size, and let's move on. Day number 19. That one actually seems suspiciously light. It says Raban. Ooh, okay. When I saw Raban, I thought it was going to be like a fragrance, another fragrance. Uh, but it's not. It's Iphoria Color Shot. Cream to paint, metallic liquid eyeshadow, highly pigmented colors and ultra shine. And the one that we have is Meteor Light. So I've never actually tried this product before. Quite exciting. This is what it looks like. It's like a paint tube. Well, that's a really pretty color. Look at this. It's over here. Very pretty. Really nice formula. Very creamy. I think it's going to blend really nicely. See? That's very pretty. I've never actually tried anything, um, any makeup from this brand. And uh, what well, the packaging is actually quite interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. It's 10 mils as well. Okay, day 20. So here we have some Dermalogica and this is daily milk foliant, calming oat-based powder exfoliant. Um, and we have 13 grams over here. 
I guess it's a travel size, but uh, I kind of find it quite exciting because I haven't tried this product yet. I've tried their microfoliant and it's brilliant. It's like a powder. You just add a little bit of water and just it creates this kind of like a paste and you just apply it on your face. Uh, and it's like a very gentle exfoliator. And this, I guess, it's going to be probably something similar. It's also like a, I think it's also powder. I think the general rule is actually going to be similar. Calming vegan exfoliating powder polishes skin while supporting the skin's moisture barrier. Dispense into wet hands and create a creamy lava. Massage it onto clean face. Rinse, avoid eye area. Also, this bottle is made with 50% recycled plastic. Okay, day number 21. So this is our last box in this kind of like mid section. What is this? Look at that. Pencil set by True Fiction. Holiday pencil set. Ha! Huh. To use, draw your eyes artistic vision to fit your True Fiction. Use in lit sharpener to get a delicately precise point. Sketch lightly and layer for added opacity. So apparently we have three colors. Lady and Hussy, Burnt Out and Plaster Cast. So these are the shades I'm assuming. We're going to have a look in a minute. So these are our pencils. They're in fact in those three shades that were mentioned there. So we have black, white, and this kind of like a burned red shade, which is actually really pretty. It does have like a little sharpener here. That's cool. And let's, let's try them out. Okay, so here they are. They are really nicely pigmented. Quite soft, but like very precise at the same time. So yeah, I like that. Okay, let's move on to our day number 22. This one is actually really heavy, so what's that going to be? Ooh, okay, look at that. So this is a Hisu Honey Infused Hair Perfume, and we have 100 mils. This actually smells lovely. I had a little sample of that, um, and I actually liked it, but we have like a full-size hair perfume over here, 100 mils. I mean, I don't know, guys. I honestly remember preparing the reveal of the Southern Calendar, and I was like, eh, hey, it's an all right one. But I actually really like the contents of the Southern Calendar so far. I mean, we have three more boxes, so I don't think I'll be extremely disappointed with these ones. I mean, we've already done the bather, so I guess that's not going to be in our day 25. Uh, but, I mean, I like it. What do you think? Day number 23. Here we have Kylie Jenner Pumping Gloss in shade Perf Him. Uh, this is a 3.22 mils and let's see. Ooh, okay. So this is a shade. So let's see. Okay, so it doesn't really seem to have much pigmentation. It's just kind of like typical gloss that's going to make your lips look kind of like wet, glossy, but uh, with a hint of color, just like a hint of color. Nothing more than that, uh, but that's good. I think the lip gloss is supposed to do that. By the way, with those like super pigmented lip glosses, I feel like there's really no point because that's something that's going to kind of like disappear quite quickly because lip glosses are not really that durable. Like, you know, they're not liquid lipsticks. Okay, day number 24, Christmas Eve. So here we have Bioma Deep Puff and Brighten Eye Gel with triceramide complex, triple hyaluronic and vitamin C. Boosted barrier, better, better skin, and we have 20 mils. A targeted treatment with triceramide complex, triple hyaluronic acid, and vitamin C helps to calm and brighten the delicate under eye area. Used for dark circles and puffy eyes AM and PM. Or anytime eyes need a little pick-me-up. And this is made in Korea. And we're moving on to our day 25, Christmas Day. The really big uh, box and quite heavy too. Aha! And we have plenty of items inside. That is that is what we like to see on Christmas Day. So first up, we have these two nail polishes. They actually look really cool. <laughs> I mean, look at that. They look really cool. That's not something I'm going to use, probably. But I still think these are really cool. So these are pleasing uh, nail polishes in uh, shade Vine Ripe. This is the one. And this white here is Pearly Tops. So yes, there you go. I would keep them just for the sake of those bottles because they look really cool. Uh, but that would be greedy, wouldn't it? Anyway, that's not everything. Uh, we also have the Selfridges Beauty Concierge uh, gift card. And that's something that they include every single year in the advent calendar. Complimentary 45 minute beauty concierge appointment. Uh, and uh, I've never used it. 
so far so i don't really count it as a thing but you know some of you might actually find it interesting but do not worry we have two more products so next up we have rib gold last nourishing hair oil oh i love this product and we have 50 mils so this is what it looks like i literally used up the whole bottle of this um, hair oil recently and this is such a nice hair oil so it's super chuffed to have another bottle of it here and then we have by rido this is mud red lipstick so there was a lipstick by Byredo in one of the advent calendars I unboxed recently. It wasn't in Liberty London, I'm not sure. And it was stunning. Uh, luckily, the shade is different this time. Look how beautiful the presentation of this lipstick is. It comes in this like really nice pouch. And this is our lipstick. It does feel really luxurious. And oh, the shade. Oh my god, I love it. I mean the formula is brilliant and look at this color it's so pretty oh my god i love it there you go guys this is the selfridges i've been calendar fully unboxed what do you guys think uh my thoughts are this i mean first of all i'm surprised i, I guess i shouldn't be because i prepare all those like reveals and i just look at all those products but maybe it's just like too many advent calendars and i'm just getting confused now but i actually like this advent calendar more than i expected for some reason i was expecting a, quite a few of those kind of like travel sizes i mean there are a few travel sizes over here i'm not going to lie but nothing you know offensive nothing that i should feel really kind of like mad about at that price point i mean again the only issue i have with this advent calendar is this guy over here because it's just like everywhere i guess for some people this advent calendar might have a little bit too many fragrances or maybe even uh, too many hair products because i think we have quite a few uh, i'm actually not too bothered by these things uh, i really love the selection here i think it's nicely balanced we have some really cool makeup uh we don't really have that many of those like usual suspects in here and i think the sizes are actually really good so these are my thoughts but i would really love to know what you think guys uh so please share your thoughts with me in the comment section down below thank you very much for watching for more advent calendar unboxings check those videos over here i'm going to see you very soon take care bye